February 27th marks one year since a Monroe County mother and her son died in a house fire. Within days, investigators said the fire was no accident and that the main suspect was a 16 year old, the daughter and sister of the victims. Now, Candace Walton and her boyfriend each face seven counts, including malice murder and felony murder for each victim, theft by taking and first degree arson. That's according to their indictment handed down by a Monroe County grand jury. Ashlyn Webb walks us through new details in the case as a trial date draws near. The house is now gone and a new home is being built. When I arrived at the scene nearly a year ago, officials said a house fire took the lives of two siblings, but the mother was gone and so was her car. That then spiraled into a completely different story, an arson investigation and a double murder investigation. And the daughter, who was once believed to be a victim, is a suspect. They found uh, a very small frame body in what was known to be Candace Walton's bedroom. And so they made the initial assessment that it must be Miss Walton because the, the mother, uh, her vehicle was gone. She never left her kids alone. Everywhere she went, her kids went. The first body was identified as 21-year-old Gerald Walton. The GBI medical examiner's office confirmed the second body was not Candace Walton. It was her mother, Tasha Vandiver. But where was Candace and where was that car? Monroe County Sheriff's Office put out a missing person alert containing this car's description and its license plate number. By that afternoon, the U.S. Marshals stopped the car hundreds of miles away in McCracken County, Kentucky. Candace Walton was driving and the district attorney says she had about $2,300 with her, her mother's tax refund. Candace became the person of interest in both the arson and murder investigations. And the question on everyone's mind was, why would a teenage girl burn down her own home to kill her mother and brother? The main motive was quite frankly wanting to get away from her family and wanting to uh, spend time with her boyfriend. That was 17-year-old Kaleo Pangalinen. District Attorney Jonathan Adams says Walton and Pangalinen had been in a relationship for less than a year while he lived in Monroe County. Adams says he had moved back to Oregon. Investigators took a closer look at that long distance relationship and the messages between the two. The district attorney says he cannot release those messages, but after seeing them, he believes. It certainly was something that they, that, um, that was planned, that was thought about uh, and, uh, and enacted. Adam says Walton and her mother had a strained relationship, but Tasha's concern for her daughter was evident, even in her final moments. The sad story is, is we believe the mother uh, was actually trying to save uh, Candace and was going into her bedroom to alert her to the fire. Um, and we know the brother uh, was actually at the doorway of his bedroom trying to get out. Investigators say smoke inhalation was the cause of death for both Gerald Walton and Tasha Vandiver. Their next door neighbor, Basima Daywood, says Vandiver was protective of both of her kids. All she wanted was the best for her children with the little that she did have. Gerald was very friendly. Um, he would sometimes come out and play basketball. Um, just very kind and um, you could just tell by his demeanor, he had a good spirit. Both Walton and Pangelina were extradited back to Georgia and now are sitting in the Monroe County Jail, awaiting trial as early as this fall. The pair pleaded not guilty in January and Walton's lawyer requested a psychological evaluation on her. Adams says the court process was delayed because of COVID-19. Reporting in Monroe County, Ashlyn Webb, 13 W Amazing News. We reached out to Walton's lawyer through the Monroe County Public Defender's Office. The office says they do not comment on cases. However, Kaleo Pangalinen's lawyer, Brad Moody, said in a statement, Mr. Pangalinen was a resident of Oregon at all times and was in Oregon at the time the fire was started and the deaths occurred. He is in no way directly involved in either the arson or the murders. Elizabeth Presley, the lead prosecutor, says Pangolinian faces the same charges as Candace Walton because he encouraged and helped to plan the crimes. To hear more from the prosecutor and more details on this case, you can look for this story on our website, 13wmaz.com.